Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? It's finally happened, guys. God of Ice is good. Uh, I don't know why it should be called that, because it looked like a lot of these people that are actually involved in the tournament aren't high schoolers, and if they are, good God. Uh, but. Getting right into it, man. The show is goofy. I was hoping for some goof, but I didn't think it was going to be that goofy in general. Just how everything kind of was getting better and better with the passing time of the episode. The overall comedy in there started to disappear, but then they kind of brought it back in the sense of the fighting, too. But... I'm not really, ex I wasn't expecting the comedy to be all that great, but it was pretty funny nonetheless, so that's a, it was already a good sign that they at least can multitask, give me some sick action, give me some funny moments, and seeing the true main character kind of waking up from this dream, it's funny, because I had a terrible dream as well, and, uh, I wind up waking up, but my dream was about freaking the aliens from Alien uh, vs. Predator, and I pretty much was in a world where they invaded. So at least he got to be able to fight back um, if he wanted to, but his dream was just him reminiscing over his grandpa, who seems to not be around anymore, uh, or he that he'd abandon his grandson to hope that he's going to make some friends and some and such the dream definitely makes it seem like he left on his own terms so we'll see just what happened with the grandpa hopefully later on if he really did want to leave him if he left just like he did in the dream or if it was something more surreal and more crazy that forced him to lose his grandpa uh but other than that, him riding his bike, being absolutely f ridiculously fast, <laughs> and pretty much showcasing he doesn't need an engine to keep up with the motorcycle or to be passing cars when he's on his bike, so he's pretty ridiculous. But at the end of the day, I'm still expecting um, a whole bunch of different little meanings between him and his uh him and his comrades like what are they gonna find in each other that they enjoy or like each other's company and uh why is it that the guy's grandpa is doing such and such while his grandson is out there fighting for his life um another curious part for me is these people in the black suits all of them seeming like they are just maybe not even contenders, like they're gatekeepers or something. I don't know. They seem weird to me. And right after this girl just started keeping her distance from me, I can't reach her for some reason. It's annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to the table. Because as of right now, the black suit people are the most... Uh, devious seeming uh, seeing how they're straight up just watching and judging not only that they get a phone call to pretty much send in a guy who's wearing a t-shirt that keeps his arms from uh, being utilized I guess you could say so this man's been using only half of his body and still destroying whatever little people were in his way so I'm pretty interested in seeing what he can do against our main boy because we already seen him absolutely launch him uh, what it looked like off the stage and I guess there isn't ring outs necessarily I guess if you get rung out and then you're unconscious then you kind of lose but man got flung as far as possible hitting the wall and just kind of bouncing back like nothing really happened he's like oh you're gonna go all out. Oh, that means I can go all out. Um, 
which is funny too. He has a little bit of a Luffy syndrome and Goku syndrome and I guess a lot of other strong shonen protagonist syndrome where it comes down to food really is important and if they don't have said food they are going to be in a position where they're just not capable of um, fully putting forth everything with a smile on their face I guess you can say I don't even know how to explain it this guy doesn't really necessarily seem like he has the syndrome all that bad because he's still smiling and jumping around and stuff like that while he's hungry so maybe he'll find some food or someone will throw food in the cage if the fight gets boring and then he gets to eat <laughs> I honestly don't know but seeing him fight someone that's ridiculously powerful and also making like jokes out of him because the girl who he's kind of made friends with or at least uh, they have had the same goal to help get a old lady's bag um, she goes all out against this guy it feels like well, maybe not all out. She was swinging for the fences, though. She was going for headshots and stuff like that. So, to think that she wasn't trying to, like, knock him out or take him out like everybody else would be um, underestimating her. And I think she was really actually hoping she was going to take this guy out quickly. Especially... Uh, especially when she actually hit him. Um, this man bounced back to grabbed the sword in between his toes and started just toying with her uh she has some ridiculous endurance though from taking a freaking uh sign like a street sign to the face and and making a whole imprint of her face in it it's pretty crazy to think how she took that and she was just walking like nothing happened afterwards so She's got a lot of uh, endurance and s clearly strength and speed. She's pretty well-rounded. Uh, our main character seems like he's well-rounded after taking such a blow and bouncing back the way he did. Just kind of showcases that he's pretty ridiculous in his own right. Um, the other only person we didn't really see him take any damage at all was the man who actually stopped the pur purse thief with one punch. And he pretty much punched like five people with the gust of his wind and hitting one guy with one punch. So uh, they're kind of showcasing that he may be the most like, uh, what was the word I want to use? He is the most disciplined. And because of his discipline, he makes very, very calm decisions every time he's in these fight moments. And I think that's the coolest part of his character so far is that regardless of what he's about to do, the man has not really missed at all. He swings one punch and seems accurate enough to force someone to block it, take it, or get sent flying just from the shockwave alone. I already like the three kids. Uh, of course, I like the main character more. He's just funny. He's ridiculously broken and more I'm guessing so can't wait to see what this show has in store for us I've been waiting for God of High School for quite some time probably almost before Tower of God was announced just because it seemed more like my show than Tower of God at the moment and now that this webtoon is here I think it's time for webtoons to truly truly continue its grind and shine and there's another webtoon that I saw there's two webtoons one that I saw that I don't think has an anime adaptation announcement and one that does and I think the one that doesn't has the best chance of being the best webtoon out there but we'll have to just see with everything going the way it is so with all that being said everybody I hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this I am your boy the anime G and I hope you guys enjoyed yourself some High School of God. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying it, loved it, didn't really care for it, think that it needs to build up a little bit more. I'm not going to lie, this episode felt like it was pretty quick. Uh, the opening song wasn't my jam. Neither was the closing song. They felt relatively average. But regardless, it was still a fun episode to watch. So with that being said, everybody, take care. Let me know, like I said, if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys on the other apps. All right, peace.